Oh, we are chatting with Chef Julia Fitchett from the kitchen at Powhatan in the Hampton Roadshow kitchen this morning. Hope you had a nice holiday, Julia. Yes, ma'am, I did. Thank you for making we time for us today. I bet you were. I know you were. Today you're going to be busy here. We're making pan-seared chicken with wild mushroom ravioli. That sounds Correct. delicious. You've, uh, you know, arranged quite a few things here. So which one are we starting with? Yes, uh, we're actually going to sear the chicken and finish it in the oven first. Okay, very, very nice. So we'll just get our pan nice and hot. Olive oil. Actually, this is just a canola oil. Okay. All good. You got to be careful when you use an olive oil to sear because of its. You can't get it very, very hot. It um. has a different smoke point than the other oils. You just have to be kind of aware of that if you're yeah. if you're cooking with it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna s season our chicken breast. Mm -hmm. We got some nice boneless, skinless chicken breast here. Nice. Did you butterfly that? No. No. Okay. It does look good though. You can buy it right in the store, just like this. Very, very nice. So, salt and pepper. That's and it. Sear. Now, this is a, a. I'm sure it looks delicious. So, I imagine it's pretty popular on the menu. Yeah, uh, we have a similar dish on the menu. We actually serve it with lump crab mm. and not chicken, but. Mm -hmm. So how uh, to kick it up a notch. Huh? I kind of wanted to get away from <laughs> seafood today. No, I know, and you know that's the thing um, is that you're showing us too using different yeah. proteins. I mean, it's you know possible to use something different. Because, I mean, yeah. sometimes your family gets tired of chicken. I thought about salmon and scallops, and then I said, I think I'll do chicken. <laughs> chicken well, it we is. We appreciate it. Because chicken tonight. Well, we, I mean, we have a lot of chicken <laughs> in the freezer, that's for sure. So <laughs> so we're just going to sear this off. Okay. So are you going to watch any movies this holiday week? Uh, I know. Time so. to, right? What's your favorite? Christmas movie. Oh, uh, you mean the Christmas story? No. The Christmas uh, story. I don't know. Elf's been playing over and over again, so I've had to stop watching that. <laughs> I know. Where you can we say? find it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> now back you to only, back. <laughs> you only seared once, or you only um, seasoned one side? I'm going to season the other side right now. Huh. I like it. Well, let me monitor that while you work on something else, Julia. Because you're going to let it sear yes, on one and then flip it over? Yeah, we want to get it n nice and seared. Okay, so don't move anything. I'm, I've, I've got a tendency to like flip around, and <laughs> <laughs> but you don't want that. So, uh, what are you working on right now while I while I make so, sure this is all seared? What we're going to do is uh, sear that and put it in the oven. You know, we might need to switch spots here. Okay. Well, we're actually getting the time cue to wrap. Why don't we work on this, and then in the next segment, what will what will happen? I'm going to saute up some spinach and some butter. Okay. And hopefully the chicken will be done, and we'll pull that out, and we'll top the chicken with some spinach and some goat cheese, and then we'll toss up our ravioli with mushrooms and our other ingredients. Sounds good. Really, really, really good. Plate. Nice yeah, thank simple. you very much. Very simple. In the kitchen with Chef Julia Fitchett from the kitchen at Power Tan in Williamsburg. This morning we're making a pan-seared chicken with wild mushroom ravioli. Yes, mm, a great entertaining dish if you want to like impress your family and friends. Uh, we've got the chicken here seared both sides, Finished hanging out. in the oven. Uh, so did you already finish it in the oven? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We've got some butter going here because we're going to make two dishes now. Correct. Okay. Oh, um, so you need to add spinach. We're going to saute the spinach mm -hmm. and top off the chicken. And some butter, right? Yes, it's just whole butter. While you're doing that, I'm going to start the mushrooms with the ravioli. Okay. We're some, making a mess With here. some butter. It's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> you don't have to clean it up. Well, no, no, no. I'm going to help clean up Virginia. I promise. All right. So. Well, the pan is kind of small. Okay. It's okay. So I'm going to let it work it really down. fast. Okay. Gotcha. You've got more butter going in there. Yes. This is for the mushrooms. How'd you come up with, how'd you come up with your dishes, Julia? I don't know. It just appears in the night. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the answer I was expecting. Antonio doesn't understand it either. I hear him laughing. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a collaboration. Gotcha. It's not just me. <laughs> I have helpers. Of course, of course. Right, so, so I should be doing a better job stirring, though, right? Because it should all get some of the heat. Yeah, and you can put a little salt and pepper on there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is sea salt? It's uh, kosher salt. Kosher salt. And just crushed black pepper. And I'm going to add some uh, baby portobello mushrooms here. Mm -hmm. Imagine you guys have um, some good New Year stuff going on. Yes, busy. Actually, you yeah. know, it's the time of year for Williamsburg. Oh, no, absolutely. And, you know, when you're talking about a time to shine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Christmas, Christmas time is... Yeah. I was uh, actually just there with my husband visiting oh, Williamsburg. It's so pretty. So it so is. pretty. 
You're right. And this everything's all here. decorated, and that's good when you turn that off. Okay. So take it off the heat, or just turn it off? I just turned it off, and you can take some and place it on the chicken. Okay. Really, that was like magic fast. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, all you need it to do is really wilt. <laughs> People tend to overcook it. Oh, yeah. I bet that doesn't taste too good. All right, so what, did, what have you been doing over there? I just saute, I'm sauteing some mushrooms here, mm -hmm. some baby porter, but you can use any type of mushroom. Mm -hmm. As well as you can use any type of ravioli. It can be, or it can be just pasta, a, a penne pasta or oh, a tortellini. Yeah. It doesn't have to be ravioli. Right. I mean, some folks, they like to stick to whatever recipe they're given, but yeah. honestly, I mean, these are good ravioli. You can you know, do whatever you want. And uh, it one. doesn't have to be a cream sauce either. It can be an olive oil with okay. herbs if you want to go that route. Now, for the uh, ravioli, those are the ones that you made yourself? Is that right? No, I actually buy those. Okay. Yeah, more spinach. More spinach. Oh, on each of them? Yeah. And then w you can top it with some goat cheese. Okay. And we're going to put that back in the oven just for a minute. Okay. So how, how long did you put the chicken breasts in the oven the first time? Oh, it was probably in there 15 minutes on 350. And then now put the goat cheese. Am I smearing it on top of the... You can uh, just put uh, crumps on top there. Like this. Of the spinach. Like that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That'll work. I'm an okay sous chef, but, you know, learning, right? You're doing a good job. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm going to add some garlic here to this mushroom, some right. sliced fresh garlic. And that's going to be part of our sauce. Okay, wait, so you've got the mushrooms, butter, and then, salt, and pepper. Okay. And I'm adding some sliced fresh garlic, which gotcha. we're going to create our sauce right here in the okay. pan. Actually, we're going to hold off on doing the sauce until our next segment, if we yeah, can. Sure. So I'm going to put this goat cheese on. And then we stick it, this one back in the oven, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, how long does that go back in there for? Just for a couple minutes. Just We just want to melt the cheese. Okay, so we're going to do that probably in the break. So the spinach is done. This part is done. The only thing left to do then is the sauce and the ravioli, Sauteing right? up the ravioli okay. and hitting it with cream and we'll plate up. All right, we're, we're going to do that in our last cooking segment then. All right, Julia? All right. Thanks perfect. very much. Finishing up our dish with Chef Julia Fitchett from the kitchen at Powhatan in Williamsburg. That is our pan-seared chicken. Our mushroom, wild mushroom ravioli is here. Now, you put the cream sauce yeah, in. Yeah, I just added some heavy whipping cream and some salt and pepper to the, our mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And that's and it. And now we need to add the ravioli. Can I help you with that? Stick yes. that in here? All right. Go for it. Thank you. We're going to give it a toss and plate it up. And that's it. This is as quick that's as, it. as how long as I can get it tossed. Okay. Go ahead. A little quicker. Let's see, hold on. <laughs> Is that good? Do you want more? A couple. A couple more. I think we're going to need to have more too. I can cook pasta. some pasta. Let me give it a toss. Look at that. See? <laughs> good job. I know. I'm not allowed to try that in the kitchen anymore, so I'm not going to try. Is that pretty much done? It's okay. yeah. As soon as we heat the pasta through, we're ready to go. We can plate this up here. That was a really quick dish. I know you had to it spread it out easy. because of, you know, as our long show as your timing. Is cooked and everything, everything is ready to go, okay. and we can plate this up. Let's talk about what is going on at the restaurant. Where folks can find you, first of all, and all the holiday lights of Williamsburg. Where can folks find you? Actually, we're located off of Ironbound Road, which is pretty close to the Monticello mm -hmm. um, shops, mm -hmm. and right down the street from Newtown, which people are very mm. familiar with. Right, 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 right. Um, so, and we have a website, the Kitchen at Powhatan, or you can go to DiamondResorts.com. Very, very nice. And as far as, you know, like New Year's stuff going on, do you have anything that... Absolutely. We have, we're going to be open New Year's Eve. We have a special dinner going on there. Mm -hmm. And we're almost booked, actually. I know. But I we still say, have room. You might need to make your plans, um, even though things are booking up, kind of make it earlier rather than later, right? Yep, and you can sit the, mm -hmm. a piece or two of chicken oh. on top there. Okay, I left something out. Hold on, let's yeah, you were I trying can. to get I off know, the hook. I know, I thought my job as a sous chef was done. Okay, so here, just put one chicken breast on top. Well, I would do two. Two? On, do you That's put it on? me, just right there. I will do it right here, on the side? On top. On top. Okay. And then one more. Bam. On top? If you're feeding, yes. Okay. If you're it feeding. depends on how hungry you are. Okay. You didn't see that, did you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go, right like that? there. Right there? And right here. On top of the other one. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then we're just going to garnish it with a little tomatoes. That's beautiful. It's like a tower Some of scallions. 
Okay. And I got a little arugula here. This is just How do you because, do this without Just because up. I like arugula. Gonna... Okay. And we're going to put some of that right on top. See? Masterpiece. That is beautiful. We're getting rave reviews from folks uh, in the control room about how pretty it Oh, looks. so and i got to cook uh, some more, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a boss. I won't be back for a while. Maybe. <laughs> this really looks good. And, uh, and I think we're also seeing something that you can definitely do at home. So, Julia, thank Absolutely. you very much. We're going to give it a taste it. test before the end of the show. Carrie?